Hey, this week's episode's a little something different. We got the wagon loaded and we're headed down to Central Texas to do some cooking. Got my good friend, country music star Granger Smith. We're going to fix a Tex-Mex breakfast burrito two ways. So y'all better hop on board or show up because you're going to want to see this one for sure. Thank y'all for stopping by, and whoo, what a beautiful day the Lord has made today. My name is Kent Rollins, and what do we do? A whole lot of cowboy cooking, and whoo, we got a special today. Things are good. I have two very special guests. One is my good friend, Granger Smith. Come on in here, Granger, my yes, friend. Sir. Now, folks, I want to tell you about old Granger. He is a Texas born and bred country singer, songwriter, playing to sold out shows all across America. And he was kind enough to show up today. He's like my kind of people, and that's what we after. And the good world could use a whole lot more of you, my friend, because uh, you spread a message out there that's true with hope, love, and yeah. faith. And uh, our other really special guest, Bertha, is here. Y'all been asking where is Bertha? She was on sabbatical in the barn, saving up for warmer times. So we are glad you joined us, and we are in a little different location this week. We it's are. Uh, close to Weir, Texas. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, this middle is middle of nowhere, Texas. Hey, it's just right. So we're going to get a little inspired today to do something like I would call maybe so a Tex-Mex grab and grow grab and go breakfast special. And everything that we use, as always, will be listed in the little description down below. Without further ado, Shannon, can we go to the next one? Let's go. Okay. So you don't, well, that was perfect. Yeah. Yep. We down here in y'all's country, we are, and they a lot of deer run around in y'all's yes, country. Yes, sir, there are. And I get a lot of people asking me, do a recipe with venison. And I'm so proud you done brought us some, what 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 cut of meat did you bring us here that from this deer? That is the backstrap, the best part of the deer. Oh, it is that. It is what you call the tenderest, ooh, the tastiest thing. We just got a little hot oil here, very little skimming little deal. You're going to have to stir pretty rapidly okay. because Bertha will talk to you. Yes. In fact, we'll slow Bertha down just a little. That's that knob right there. Yes. Sometimes you can't see what's in there for the smoke. You know what I mean? I hear you. Now we're going to make this, a, do this little grab and grow that's a hard word for me to say. Grab and go Texas special here, a little Tex-Mex. We're going to do two different varieties of this. That's my favorite I have at my house too, oh, by the way. It is good stuff. So we're going to make this a little more Mexican traditional with our spices. We'll have a little of our mesquite seasoning, a little bit of cumin, a little bit of oregano. How much did you put right there? That is what you call one-fourth of one-fourth of a teaspoon. Oh, got it. I mean, it is I on the it. money. Is it just right? It is the is it just, just right, right amount. Right? A little bit of garlic. Season it well. Just brown it just enough that it could stay there because it will get cooked again. You remember the Vegematic? Yes, sir. That is... This is it? This is it. Well, my friend, Ooh. thank you for cutting them up. And when you what, the seed still in there? Hey, you like stuff to bite back, don't you? <laughs> That's right. I do. Now we left just a little bit of that meat grease that we fried them little pieces of venison in, because we got to have a little something to the correct word would be saute. So. So. That's French. Me and you are cooking a lot of French cuisine. Yes, sir. Just just one whole onion. There was what two Anaheim peppers? Three. Do you remember? Uh, I was. Three. A couple. It was three. A couple of two or three. And then a jalapeno. It was just the right amount. Yes, it was, my friend. Them get softened up really good. It won't take them chilies long because they've already been blistered, but that onion hasn't. So then we'll throw this deer meat that's got the chili seasoning on it back in there. And then it's nearly time to put the creation together. All right. Oh. An adjustable knob now with this trivet yes, to where we raised it up. That's, that's a medium? That is a medium. There's high and then there's medium high and then there's hell for hot. Okay. And, um, all right, brother, since we're doing two versions of this here, I got to save a little of this for our other con conversion we're doing. So okay. I'm just going to steal some of that from you. Two versions, but can we eat both of them? At we're going to, yes, we can. Now we're going to go ahead and mix this venison backstrap back in here that's got our chili seasoning on it. And I'll let you go ahead and give that a good stirring so it can incorporate. That smells good. Yes, it smells like it might be good enough to eat. You know what? Mm -hmm. Cackle berries. Okay. okay. 
some otherwise known as rooster bullet. Rooster bullet. Yes. But we need four of them in there and we'll scramble them up good. We'll go ahead and stir them, my friend, without the shell. Well, brother, I think you done done a, a really good job there. Them cackleberries and all that gets fit to eat. So if you don't grab that glove, let you set it off and we'll cover that eye just a tad. We'll go ahead and do this other version of meat and we'll let that oil get hot. Stick your finger in there, brother, and see okay, if that's we'll hot, okay? That. That's how you test it. We're pretty close, but we'll, when that flyer will sizzle, we pretty close, because when you're deep frying something, you want to run, try to run 350 anywhere along in there. And uh, they seen us a while ago, you mixed us up some buttermilk, yes, little cornstarch and some bacon powder. Cornstarch in the buttermilk is going to help that crust get a little extra pop. Sure, the bacon soda will do, I mean, the bacon powder do that, but cornstarch helps it stick but also makes that crust sort of rise up. Really. Okay. So it is a good thing to know. Good. I've never done that And before. it's also good for galding. You knew that, didn't you? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Did you get one of them? Oh, no, sir. One of them. Yes, sir. I have a short-term memory. Now I'm going to give it a little bit of our original seasoning. With it, let that venison, I love to let venison soak in a little buttermilk if I can before you cook it. I've even done it overnight if it's like a tougher cut, you know, that comes off the ham or something. But this being backstrap, whew, a man can chew this right easy, he can. Then all we got is a little seasoned flour over here. Just got our seasoning in it, a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of baking How powder. How much was that again? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So we just, we got them out of, right out of this buttermilk. Shake that excess flour off there. And we'll see, does it sizzle? And it does. This is an important job I'm doing here. Yes, it is, brother, and I appreciate it. I'm not ambidextrous, so you're helping me out a great deal, you know what I mean? You'll find out in this business, you just need about six more hands, and in the summertime, you need a whole lot longer tongs than what you got. That's always important in life, longer tongs. It is that, brother. <laughs> longer tongs. We're just going to roll them around there. You may have to turn them over unless you're in a really deep, deep fryer. I'd rather deep fry anything that I'm going to chicken fry versus pan fry. Because okay. it's going to make a better crust. I could eat that, couldn't you? Oh, I could. I was making these homemade flour tortillas this morning. So we first got to have... You know Shannon made those. Yes, she did. We'll give her credit. Yeah. She is very good. Give her credit. She is very Behind good. the camera, Shannon. We got to have a little cheese so everything is going to stay together. This is going to sort of end up sort of like a quesadilla, but not. It is close. You know, Oklahoma, y'all call that quesadilla? Yes, yeah, pretty close with armadillo. Yeah. So we'll put a little of this mixture in there. Tuck and roll method. And this is why you can't overcook a tortilla on this deal so they'll stay together. It's like you said, that's not a burrito. It's a grab and go. It's a grab and go. Let me move them out of your way. But don't burn them fingers. Them fingers are worth money. Oh, I can cook with nubs. <laughs> know what I mean? It's called the love tap. Know what I mean? Just give them a good little mash and try not to break too much. But we want that to seal good with that cheese that's on the top. That's sort of like the concrete that's going to set this whole deal up. A little bit of some kind of lubricant. Don't use WD-40. Or yeah. trop arctic, it don't cook well. But I, I think the, one of the most important things on this deal is don't overcook your tortillas at the first because we need them to be able to stay together. And while that's going on, we better turn this. Are you an egg flipper? Aren't we all at some point? Yes. And my mother always <laughs> used to tell me, you sure can't break that. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can break almost anything. It's ready to turn. Look at there. Not even a bus did we get. I was a little nervous. You're doing good. Now we got to have a little cheese for this one too. And we're going to start right here. If you can go ahead and put that egg that you fried so magnificently yes, sir. right here. But first, what do we got to have in there with it? Ooh, some chicken fried venison. So go ahead and lay me that egg right up there on top. Look at there. He didn't bust none of it. Shan, this guy is a true egg cook from way back. And you can eat this any way you like. Some more cheese. Mm. I also like to give it some of this homemade green sauce that we made. And Shan says pour where the camera can see it. 
Looky there at that browning effect that just took effect. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. The best way to eat that right there is just like that right there, my friend. Mmm. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. It's almost uh, a little bit from our neighbors, both of our neighbors, New Mexico. Yes. Like there it is. See it there? Ooh, Ooh, that's, that's the money the shot. Beauty shot. You might even want one of them now. Yeah. And see the benefits of getting to cook? You get to eat first. I see you have done mutilated your part of it bit. there. Yes, sir. So you've tasted that version. So hang on to that just a minute. And I'll hang on to this one and let's taste this version okay. and see what happens. The grab and go. Yes. Mm. Mm. That venison cooked up so well with it that with the cumin and the oregano in there. It's it's south of the border, and here we are on the north side. <laughs> no. It is good eating, and this will make you do a happy dance. You know what I mean? Mm. Happy dance. Mm. <laughs> That's what he sings, and I cook for a living because our dancing ain't too much. No, not good. <laughs> Not good. And check this man out too for his singing because he is great. I promise you that. That's why I'm here. I don't have to sing for my breakfast. He does. Well, we're going to be in a little bit later in a little music video. Stay tuned. This isn't this isn't all you're going to see from us. And I'd like to like to thank y'all for all stopping by. It's great for y'all's hospitality to have us down here, friend. We appreciate it, yes, Granger, so much. But as always, we'd like to thank all them veterans and servicemen and women and all those who have fought and keep that flag above that wagon so we could have this freedom to do that. Be sure, as always now, hit the like, the share. Also, check out Granger's stuff, too. Like I say, Shannon will have the link down there below. So we appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed something today. Hope you learned something. Me yes. and Granger did. We learned that we're going to eat. So yes, it is sir. time, brother. Big in. Thank you all so much. God bless you each and every one. And see you down the Texas Tex-Mex Grab and Gold Breakfast.